in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Brothers and sisters in Christ, Christ was crucified for us because of our sins, for our salvation. Let us confess our sins. Compassionate God, dear Heavenly Father, we confess our sins to you. Because of them we have deserved your wrath and punishment. Look upon us with mercy and forgive us our sins for the sake of your beloved Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. <coughs> the Psalm of the day is Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from saving me, so far from the words of my groaning? O my God, I cry out by day, but you do not answer, by night, and am not silent. Yet you are enthroned as the Holy One. You are the praise of Israel. In you our fathers put their trust. They trusted and you delivered to them. They cried to you and were saved. In you they trusted and were not disappointed. <coughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Let us pray. <coughs> Sovereign God, you have established your rule in the human heart through the servanthood of Jesus Christ. By your Spirit, keep us in the joyful procession of those who with their tongues confess Jesus as Lord and with their lives praise him as Saviour, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. <coughs> The Gospel on Palm Sunday is from St. Matthew, chapter 21. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, tell him that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to the daughter of Zion, See your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, placed their cloaks on them, and Jesus sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowd was, uh, that went ahead of him, and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <coughs> <coughs> the 
The Gospel on the Good Friday is from St. Matthew chapter 27. They came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. There they offered Jesus wine to drink, mixed with gall, but after tasting it he refused to drink it. When they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes to casting lots. And sitting down, they kept watch over him there. Above his head, they placed the written charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two robbers were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. From the sixth hour until the ninth hour, darkness came over all the land. About the ninth hour, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing there heard this, they said, He is calling Elijah. Immediately one of them ran and got a sponge. He filled it with wine vinegar, put it on a stick, and offered it to Jesus to drink. The rest said, Now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to save him. And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. As evening approached, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who had himself become a disciple of Jesus. Going to Pilate, he asked for Jesus' body, and Pilate ordered that it be given to him. Joseph took the body, wrapped it in a clean linen cloth, and placed it in his own new tomb that he had cut out of the rock. He rolled a big stone in front of the entrance to the tomb and went away. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary were sitting there opposite the tomb. Brothers and sisters in Christ. It was a glorious triumph when Jesus came to Jerusalem riding on a donkey. Maybe no one on that day could imagine what was going to happen. But they started to follow Jesus on his Via Dolorosa, and at the end they followed him to Golgotha. And there Jesus was crucified, he died and was buried. This is, this is what you read and meditate during the days to come. <clears throat> On Good Friday, there were disciples and friends standing near the place. Of course, at that moment, they did not understand what was happening. They were horrified, full of sorrow. Later on, after the Easter day, and when they had met with the risen Lord, they started to reflect over the meaning, the purpose of Jesus' suffering, crucifixion and death. It is said that in the beginning they expressed the true meaning of the passion of Jesus in three short expressions. Jesus suffered for us. Jesus suffered for our sins. Jesus suffered for our salvation. For us for our sins, 
for our salvation. I think that we need not say more than this for us, for our sins, for our salvation. <clears throat> and then I read what Apostle Paul writes in Romans chapter 4. He was delivered over to death for our sins and was raised to life for our justification. Let us now pray the Palm Sunday prayer. <clears throat> Almighty ever-living God, increase the faith of those who place their hope in you, O God, and graciously hear the prayers of those who call on you, that we, who today hold high the branches to hail Christ in his triumph, may bear fruit for you by good works accomplished in him, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the Mount Thursday prayer. O gracious God, you gave us Holy Communion as a meal of love. And in the washing of the disciples' feet, your Son modelled for us the life of service. He was life and strength through the mystery of, he, of this sacrifice. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour and Lord. Amen. And let us pray the Good Friday prayer. Almighty and ever-living God, in your tender love for us, you sent your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our nature and to suffer death upon the cross. May we walk in the way of his suffering and share in the joy of his resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour and Lord. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds we are healed.